Hey everyone, it's me Tasha, and I'm so so excited that you're loving the focus of the YouTube channel now, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the fear of launching. I remember seven years ago when I launched my first business, I remember three years ago when I launched that uh, consulting business, and right now I'm in the midst of launching Kickstarter e-commerce and Business Bestie. And there's so much that goes through our minds when launching a business. Are people going to support me? Am I going to have the right products? Is my website going to look right? How should I run social media? So many emotions run through us. And I want to talk to you today about how you can somewhat control those emotions, find balance, and get back to a place where you can just go. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is having a business consultant, strategist, or whatever you want to call that person, but that person that, that is guiding you. So many times we try to start a business and we try to start everything on our own. We try to go on Google, we read blogs, we hop on YouTube, but we don't hire someone that's been there before. That's like a huge, huge stepping stone that helps you along the way. Finding someone that can relate to what you're going through, someone that knows how to deal with customers, shipping, processing orders, ordering um, products, building a website, someone that's been there before. So I think it's really important that you sit down and find the money in your budget. It's not like you need to go find a $500 an hour coach. There's coaches that are out there that are great that are like $65 an hour. Hey, I started at $65 an hour because at the time, that's what I felt my worth is my worth was. I mean, the other day I had a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with someone and I mean, in the two-hour session, I felt so invigorated helping them find their solution. So find someone that's just as passionate of finding the solution for your business. Next, surround yourself with community. This is something I never thought of. I mean, I had supporters and all this other stuff, but I never realized how important having community around you is when you're launching a business and running a business. I am very thankful in the three and a half years that I have been consulting women one-on-one -on -one, that they have built a community around themselves. They built a community around me. Um, it's the IBC Consult family or Pivot Concepts family. And they're like really supportive of each other, not just buying each other's products. A lot of the girls say um, they don't feel like they can come to me about everything in the sense they don't want to text me at 9, 9 o'clock at night because they're self-doubt. Um, because I'm that person that's going to be like, read you and be like, girl, what has Jesus done for you in the past? Why are you doubting yourself? So they have each other. They have a great community of each other that they work together with and support each other. They're sending each other Bible verses, birthday cards, everything. So community matters. Next is affirmations. I want you to get in the habit of saying your affirmations when you wake up. Today is going to be a great day. I am beautiful, talented, create, I am created in God. Say whatever it has to be said that makes you feel great. Um, I attract sales. I have the perfect customers. I'm constantly landing sales. Um, new customers are coming to me daily. I'm increasing my social media numbers. Have those. And one of the things I do is I, for a long time, I had them on my phone. So they would pop up at different times. And it's a, it's a breath of fresh air, especially when you're struggling and everything else. Next. Um, this is like a huge, huge thing. You need to find something that you can do 30 minutes a day or like two hours a week that takes you away from your business. I know that you're just launching and everything else and you want to put all your time into your business. That's going to burn you out. I had, I've had so many burnouts. I mean burnouts where I just want to like lay in the bed for a month and not do anything. And hey, there's been times that I've laid in the bed and not done anything and just watch the West Wing all day. So create something that just detoxes you. Um, working out is a really great one for me, doing yoga, jogging, coloring, knitting, doing something that takes away from your business, that way you can breathe fresh. You need that or whatever. So I want you to remember launching a business is hard. It is hard, hard work, but you don't need to just deplete yourself and stress out completely because that does nothing for you. Nothing at all. Sorry, I need some water. <sighs> oh yeah, drink water when you're launching a business. Do not dehydrate yourself. That is so, so important. Like, I used to hate drinking water, um, but now I I do things like buying a cute cup <laughs> and that helps or whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to drink this four times today. And that's great. And I mean, like, I have to fill it up four times to drink it. Um, but I really just want you to just know that you're not alone while you're doing this. This 
this is a beautiful journey and that you just need to really learn how to breathe we don't know how to breathe and sometimes we just need to take a deep breath exhale take a deep breath exhale like Take that time and know that everything's going to be okay. It takes time to build a company. Yes, you'll read an article that a company, you know, they just launched and two years later they were acquired. Great for them, but you don't know what they did for 10 other years or five other years to get to this point. So learn how to take deep breaths. Surround yourself with a community. You know, say your affirmations. Get a consultant, a business strategist, or a coach to help you along the way. And know that what ifs happen. You know, what if this will happen this way, that if we put so much anxiety on ourselves that doesn't need to be there. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, um, last week I started recording videos for Kickstarter e-commerce. And, I mean, a whole year ago I had recorded videos. I half asked those videos. And then I was like, I can't do this. I'm a failure. Everyone else is doing this. And there's no point in me putting it on the market. And then God just kept talking to me like, no, you need to do this. You need to do this. And I shot my first video and all the fear just like completely melted away. I mean, I had anxiety before I sat down to do the video, but once I did the video, I was so excited. I was smiling. I was laughing. Everything worked out perfectly fine. And I'm telling you, everything's going to work out. You just have to take your time, breathe, and know everything's going to be okay. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or focuses for this series, please let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.